Hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, Gavin here. Today we're gonna be talking about Paper Rival, um, discussing their EP and you know some of the lyrics on this album. So yeah, let's jump right in. All right. So the first song of this album is uh, Alabama. Um, now I'm gonna read some of the lyrics. So we can get. So it starts off this white trash sunset. No exit off this freeway, this southern climate. Humid kill vultures, no freeway. My redneck mistress. Victory for those who leave this freeway. Trailer suburbia, prison cell, part of hell, freeway. Now, to me, the lyrics are kind of like, they're bleeding out. They're kind of like, um, He's desperate to get up out of this place, Alabama, you know, and it's just anyone who is born here or lives here is just a prisoner. Like there's no way getting out. Victory for those who leave. In the last part of the song, it's a uh, hopelessly yours, Alabama, and it's like whoa, whoa. Hopelessly yours, Alabama. Whoa, whoa. Hopelessly yours, Alabama. Now for me. Oh gosh, come on. No exit off of this freeway. No one that Hopelessly yours, Alabama. Oh my god. Let's just talk about the song for like a good two minutes here. Okay, first of all, he is. I'm going to put a link in the description so you can listen to this album. Because you'll have to listen to this song, Alabama. Seriously. If anyone is born, like, in a home where they're just kind of, like, like the opposite of homesick. Like, they're restless being here. Like, they know every corner of this, this state. They know what it's about. They know everyone in it. It's just so small and just, like, God. It's so, it's so tiring being here. It's, it's almost like a chore. Like, I'm not going to say I relate to it, but I can have, you know, some kind of, uh, a little bit, I can kind of relate to it. Like, being, I live in Texas, and like, I'm not going to tell you where in Texas, because I don't want any stalkers or like, people come to my house or something <laughs> unannounced. <laughs> no, thank you. But anyways, um, like, living in Texas, it's hot, you know, there, there's, it's like, two seasons, it all looks the same, it's really pretty here on, in, like, the winter or, like, sometimes the spring, I guess. Austin's a really pretty place. It's a really pretty city in Texas, and I, I love going there. But I live in a, in a, like a suburban part of Austin, and uh, it's just, I know everyone here, you, you run into everyone, like you go to parties, you see people you know, you go to, you know, it's always getting busted, you know, no one from, not to be like an a-hole, but no one from Austin, I've never heard anyone get big from Austin, and that's kind of, it's kind of scary. You know, maybe like actors, or but I've never heard anyone from Austin. It's usually like Dallas or Fort Worth or somewhere else in Texas. But from directly from Austin, like we get people to come here. We get people. We have like ACL and stuff in South West Fort Worth, but no one from Austin. I don't. I don't know anyone from Austin. I've never heard of a big band. Clearly, they would have been big enough for me to hear about them had they gotten out from Austin. So it's kind of like scary. It's kind of like, like, you know, in the back of your mind, you're like. Maybe I will never leave this place. There's a there's a crazy chance I might never leave, just for the fact of the fact that it's comfortable and it's kind of safe and it's just you kind of get stuck. So I can definitely relate to it. And uh, hopelessly yours. I mean, I'm not. I don't live in Alabama, but I live in Texas. Hopelessly yours, Texas. And the next song, um, we're gonna move right along here, but uh, oh, you can just hear in the guy's voice what he's singing. He's just like scared and sad that, you know, what if I never get out of here? 
hopelessly yours, Alabama. You've got me. You've got me on a chain and ball. Yeah. <clears throat> so next thing is the setting. No. We're gonna get right along here to uh, your right. Um. See, with with Paper Rival, and this is, this is the same thing that happened to Lydia, is that like I would listen to the band. I would listen to the band and stuff, and like, uh, but like on Spotify or um, Pandora, Pandora. Like I would listen to that. That's where I was listening to these bands, and um, it just kind of it skipped around most of their albums. Like it didn't just stick to one album. So some of these songs I don't really recognize, or I didn't really get attached to, because of the fact that it's just. Excuse me. Um, it's just, uh, I just got skipped around too much. So it starts off, you got the spark of imagination, triggered by boredom, yet seldom turned to flame. Maybe tonight is, maybe tonight is different. Maybe tonight is a bonfire. Oh my god, you're right. But you wouldn't go, go, go anywhere. You wouldn't go. Maybe we'll jump into the fire. Maybe we'll stay here, away from our own. You're in love with nothing. You're in love with no one. You're in love with nothing. Yeah. Oh my god, you're right. We wouldn't go anywhere. We wouldn't go. Oh my god, you're right. You wouldn't go. We wouldn't go anywhere. Anyways, that's a pretty good song. Um, it really stuck out to me. It's not really like, uh, like Alabama. It wasn't like, you know. How do I put this? It didn't feel like a ballad. It didn't feel really like, rem like it, you couldn't really remember it. It didn't really stick out or anything. Like, there wasn't really much original about it. There wasn't really anything standing out from it. Um, Alright, the next song we're going to be doing is uh, Home We Ride Out Your Window. I really like this one. This one. This one I really liked. Just the way that it like, starts out and stuff. Uh, lately, if you haven't noticed a crime wave coming through the city, I'll bet. You lock all your windows and doors. Lately, if you haven't noticed a crime wave, you did it. You did it, didn't you? Home was right out your window. <clears throat> Home is right out your window. Home is right out your window. This this song um this this band gave me like immediately from Indian Lakes vibes like I was listening to this song and I was like wow I have I have struck I have found another great band like gosh darn they're not together anymore unfortunately but it's it could never take away from what they gave us they they gave us some really good stuff and uh, I don't know it just Really into it. No. Is there a side? Oh, is right out your window. <laughs> My ugly face. Mm, sorry. <laughs> yeah. And um. So this is a really good song. Kinda catchy. Mm -hmm. All right. So setting. This brings me back to setting. This is the. This is probably the type of stuff I would listen to with like a girlfriend, or maybe on like a stroll by myself when I'm skateboarding or something. Like I'd probably listen to this when I'm skateboarding. Um, I have no, I know one person who I, I'd listen to with because she was really good at like understanding the music. 
I don't know what it was about her that she just like the parts of the song that I mean they were probably immediate and I was just like too dumb to notice but I, I really don't think so it's not really how I feel about it I feel like she really understood the music yeah anyway I'd probably listen to that with her. Um, the type of setting it lose off is like it's definitely passionate. Like you're doing something out of passion when you listen to this. So maybe like I like passionate music when I'm kissing someone because I give passionate kisses. So maybe you would like, kiss lovely song any good music, any good music I'm probably gonna play when I'm like on a date with someone <laughs> just cause that's just who I am. I am I my candles are the music. Music is the candle, you know? I mean, I've lit the candle or anything, but you can't tell me that the music I'm not playing isn't setting a mood. So, yeah. Um, oh, this is a great song. Okay, Fox in the Garden. This is a really good song. Where is it? Can this remind you of Alabama? I know what I did, cause if you're my friend, I've lied to you this far. I'm no one to trust, I've got a brand new pen, and I drink too much. There it was like a holy lantern. I was held up bright, but I was held up battered. You know, you know, you know, I'll burn out soon. There you were like Sunday, miss. All, all the morning, all the boring little hymns that I've never piss. You know, you know, you know, don't go to bed in the garden. I've been throwing apples away when no one's awake. So, Alright, so this is definitely like self loathing. Like, people who warn other people about their personalities or, you know, like, make, you know, like, oh, be careful I do this, or they're, they're not really confident. I'm not, I'm not trying to bag on anyone, I'm sorry. If you want to leave a comment about how much you hate me for saying that, do it. I, I'll read it and, you know, consider being more considerate. <laughs> But um, to me, it's just like people who give warnings of the personality or like, don't do this. I, uh, I just, you're not confident. It, it, that's what, that's what it, 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 it uh, communicates to me when you do that. So you're not really confident with, your, with yourself or you don't really like yourself. You don't really have the best relationship with yourself. And I think that's a very important part of everyone is, you know, trying to... One, the number one relationship you need to worry about is the one with yourself because seriously, that's the one that you're going to have forever. You can't divorce yourself. You can't, you know, kill yourself and still be alive. Like, you, you have to get comfortable with yourself. You have to figure out how to... how to get, how to get along with yourself because... It's the only way you'll ever strive. Don't go to bed in the garden. I've been throwing apples away. No one's awake. Don't make your bed in the garden. Melody and rhythm. Now, for me, the melody and rhythm is very like chill like it makes you feel stoned almost like I don't know about you guys but it's I'm not gonna say indie rock or indica rock or whatever it's definitely alternative like you can't lie to yourself about it it's definitely indica and <laughs> I keep saying it it's definitely alternative um Definitely kind of like from Indian Lakes melody rhythm. Like it's kind of it's kind of tough, but it's like slow. I'm like punk rock where it's like fast and hard. Like it's like like it's passionate. Like it's like they have it, but they're just like I almost feel like their effort. Like they've been working so hard that it's just like fine. I'll do it, but I'm not gonna like it. They're angry, but they're just not. They don't have the. They don't have the drive anymore. It's kind of. Kind of like it. Garden. 
again. I'll be through. It kind of gives me Nirvana vibes. Not immediately, not, you know, when you kind of listen to it, you're like, oh, okay, I kind of hear that. I kind of, just a little bit. I think because he's from, like, Alabama or something, I think it kind of gives it that, that sense. Man, low-key bands. Oh, my God. I can't tell you how many low-key bands I have come across who are just like, why aren't y'all, why haven't y'all gotten big? Like, what the heck? Y'all should be playing. Like, a lot of people would like their music because it's catchy, it's smooth, it's not too fast, not too slow. It's not like... It's kind of romantic. I, I don't know. I, don't, I just don't get it. Like, along the lines of, like... I don't know. I, I wish I could see these people live more places. Like, the crazy people get famous for no reason. I mean, they're good artists and everything, but it's just like... I don't know. Maybe they don't want to get famous, and that's just a dig, and I completely understand. Like... Being famous nowadays, I would probably not want to be famous right now. During what's going on, I mean, being casted with all those other people that are famous is kind of like, uh, I don't want that, guys. No. So I get that. My first impression of this band was fudge. Fudge. Like, I felt like I was eating chocolate. Like, I loved them immediately. They're so good. I didn't hear, I heard a couple other songs from a different album. And I'll probably be doing that later. Um, probably not anytime soon, just cause I'm gonna do a bunch of paper rivals in one week. It's kinda weird. I like to spice it up. You know, give y'all something, give y'all something else, you know? So, yeah. Uh, this one, I've never, I don't think I've heard this one. Pacing the cage. <clears throat> See. This one's really pretty. Sunset is an angel weeping, holding out a bloody sword. No matter how I squint, I cannot make out what it's pointing toward. Sometimes you feel like you live too long. Days drip slowly on the page, you catch yourself pacing the cage. I've proven who I am so many times, the magnetic strips worn thin, and each time I was someone else and everyone was taking it, powers chatter in high places, stir up eddies in the dust of rage, set me to pace in the cage. I never knew what you all wanted, so I give you everything, all that I can pillage, all that spells that I could sing. It's as if the thing were written in the constitution of the age, sooner or later you'll wind up pacing the cage. Sometimes the map will not guide you. You can see what's around the bend. Sometimes the road leads through dark places. Sometimes the darkness is your friend. Today these eyes scan bleached out land for the coming of the about bound stage. Pacing the cage, pacing the cage. But this is very poetic. And he clearly was trying to get something off his mind and off something his chest <clears throat> and put it through music, which I admire. I, I like it when people can find an outlet for anything. You know, if you're having a bad day, like, Instead of, you know, I mean, if crying is your, your if crying is really what's going to help you, crying is really, you know, you find that helpful and it, it lets you clear your body of, of uh, radicals, whatever, then go for it. But if you don't feel that way, if you don't feel like that it helps you, because like for me, since crying, I don't like to cry on my problems. I don't feel like it doesn't, it doesn't help me. I think, you know, finding something else, finding something else that makes me happy gives me a sense of like, okay, Whatever made me happy and has now made me sad is clearly not the only thing that can make me happy. So, I'll just find something else that makes me happy and, you know, revel in it. Uh, it's not a big deal, you know, there's a lot of things out this world that can inspire you again. That's pretty much what it does. Like, what doesn't, what I get bored with or it didn't inspire me anymore, I can find in something else, you know? And uh, I feel like with other people, like, I f it's, it's kind of the same dig, like we 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 let our emotions and we just kind of sit in them, like your own bathroom, and uh, you don't have to, you don't have to cry and be sad. Like there's so many things in this world that can make you happy. Go find a friend, you know, you know, you, you know. If, if none of your friends are 
willing to listen to your problems or help you out, then maybe you, maybe you should start reconsidering finding new friends. It's kind of hard, but you know, find people that you can trust. Take a chance. Maybe cry in front of someone that you don't even know. See how they f feel about it. Maybe they will be more helpful than the friends that you've known for two or three years. Um, skateboarding. If you feel that skateboarding, like getting your heart rate up, is what will help you in the long run, then. You know, go running, exercise more. Um, maybe try a new diet for a little while. See how that helps out. You could, for all you know, you could be a, you've been a, a meat eater and you've been a vegetarian for so long, or a vegan. Try really hard and go vegan. Maybe get a job and try to save up for like the newest console, or the newest computer. I mean, uh, you'd be working on your resume and your working skills and getting uh, getting experience, meeting new people there too, and you'll end up with a f flipping new laptop that's like for 1500 bucks. <laughs> Try to be unhappy then. <laughs> and then with the new laptop. If, you, if your love life is crappy then for me the best way to, to to not be so involved in like love life is to just flirt with a lot of people. Be, not to be too, you know, don't don't get dangerous with it. But maybe you try being uh, a little more scandalous. Flirt with more people. Talk to more people. You know, if you have the confidence for it, kiss people. Go to go to concerts, raves. Like get out there. You know, join Tinder. Like those are these are the type of things you know. If you have the money for it, if you have the time for it, match. See how that goes down. But I'm pretty sure Tinder is like really great for that. See how the, there's so many you when you're flipping through Tinder, you're like, wow, there's a lot of good pe looking people out there. Even the people that don't think they're good looking have a great personality. Like you'll you'll find people, and it'll remind you that you know what the people people that I waste time on, people that I've given my life and love for are are clearly not that big of a deal because they just there's just so there really is so many fish in the sea. Um yeah. I'll oh man. I'm gonna let this video run on to a little bit longer because I I just, I'm really stuck on this. This whole unhappiness thing. Like, find what makes you passionate, what makes you angry. Find new sports, new books, new movies, new games. Um, what else? Board games, jobs, friends. Uh, what else? Learn a new skill like drawing. That takes up time and like your eyes and it makes you focus. Like things that take you off. Like start making YouTube videos. Even if you're not, like you can make, not, to, not gonna lie, you can literally make a career out of YouTube, you guys. Like even if you just start, you could eventually find that YouTube will lead you into another path, another realm of experiences and, and opportunities that you never thought you could get or even just harness. Like, Man, you'll really learn yourself. You'll really learn who you are and how to how to do what you want when you just focus on what you want to do with your life. You know, this whole idea where they have to get married, go to school, have kids, and you'll be happy is not. That's not the standard of happiness anymore. Standard of happiness, and it's not even negative things anymore either. It's like you can't do drugs and you know party all the time and you know. Be homeless or jobless, like there's literally so many places that I've seen with now hiring signs. You can get a job, get a job, have something that like uh, that keeps you busy, motivated. Like, jeez Louise, you guys. Uh, leave a comment in the description if you have any other ideas that uh, like people can do instead of just moping. Like, moping is just another way of you 
I'm not, not, you can correct me on this, but in my, in my case, it's just me being lazy. Me being lazy, and it's me not being motivated. When I'm motivated and I'm doing something, like, I'm not, I'm not unhappy. I'm just not. I'm not even bored. It's great. Anyways, guys, the movie does almost 25 video minutes long, and, uh, yeah. Love you guys. Try to focus on, on what you want to do, who, who you want to be, what makes you happy, and make it productive. It has to be productive. If you really, like, if you really want to be a musician, an astronaut, um, I don't know, a clown, clown college, get a job, start saving up for school, learn, math and science, great for, uh, for astronaut stuff, um, musician, Pick up a guitar, keep playing. For the next four years, just play music. Don't even focus on anything else. Write music, construct music, all that jazz. Skaters out there, go practice skating. Don't sit around and play with your your tears. Go go do something great. Believe in all you guys. Uh, give this video a big thumbs up. Don't forget to leave a comment and subscribe. Peace.